everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Micah. Today we are going to be doing something differently on my channel, namely using single shadows for a bit of inspiration. I saw Annette's Makeup Corner do this and she sort of selects pictures and then sort of takes inspiration from them to curate new palettes and sort of putting different shadows together. And I definitely have all of my singles now sort of organized per brand. I sort of build palettes for most, for the most part using one brand. And that does mean that I don't always go into my single shadows all that much because I kind of reach for just one shade or whatever. So I definitely need to sort of teach myself to put color stories together using all of this yummy goodness because everything I have here I love and adore. I just need to start using it more often. I thought what we could do is create what I would like to call fantasy palettes based on some images and like things I like outside of makeup and see if we can use that cr to create some cool color stories. So what are you looking at right now? We're looking at ColourPop over here with these two palettes. I've got my Makeup Geek Singles at the bottom here in that red palette. Over here we've got Lethal Cosmetics and that's a brand that's high on the list. They are going to be restocking these 12 pan palettes at the end of February. Over here we've got MAC, which is very neutral. Not a lot of colors, um, but yeah, that's what I was into when I bought mostly MAC. Over here we've got Inglot. And then over here we've got one color pop press glitter and everything else is Davina and Luxie Beauty. Over here we've got Cleona, some more Cleona, some press glitters by ColourPop, JD Glow, I think some Sydney Grace, and Luxie and Davina possibly as well, as well as some Nabla, and this square pan is a silver by Catrice. And in the middle one we have Nabla, Anastasia, Colored Rain, and Sydney Grace. So that's what's F uh, all in here. So those are the brands we're working with, and I'm just going to put all of this aside. And then I have these two empty palettes. I've got a six pan Nabla palette. Nabla pans are a bit larger than the average eyeshadow. Um, so this will fit six shadows of anything I've got going on here. And then I have an empty one of these, uh, and this should fit 18 standard sized eyeshadows. So I think this will give us room to play with to build like two or three little palettes just to play around with some color stories. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is something with this picture that flashes onto the screen right now, the Ravenclaw emblem. Uh, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, in case you didn't know. I uh, sorted myself into a house once through Pottermore and I was a Ravenclaw, which was no surprise because I'm a bit of a nerd like that. And um, this is also like color story wise something I love because it's got like the silver and like the blue and like a darker navy. And then like the, the, the flash of red and also yellow. I'm not sure if I have any reds though, but um, we'll see how far we'll get. I think I want to make this like a nine pan thing. So I'm going to be moving my Nabla empty palette to the side and we're just going to put everything into this palette. So we're going to be putting a, a nine pan palette together, I think. I think that that is going to be a really good idea. Uh, I think that in terms of like different types of colors, I have most of that in my ColourPop palette and I know I have to put in a silver and I know ColourPop does a great silver that I also own and that's this one and it's called On a Whimsy. So I'm sort of going to take that as like a baseline and then sort of build some other things around it, I think. I think this, this palette is going to need a matte blue, so I'm going to take a shade by the Vena that I haven't actually put on my face yet, so it would be interesting perhaps to also do a look with this at some point. But this is Hydra and it's a blue matte that I think is better than the colored rain one that I have over here. This is called Neo Blue, um, but that's a bit lackluster, I have to say. And now I'm looking for like something that's like a darker navy kind of shade. I think that this can look really nicely with it. This is Cleona's Nocturnal and this is one of, of their like more standard shades. But if I look at the shade of the bird, then it's like a tealy, turquoisey, deep blue almost. And for that, I think this MAC shade is going to do very well. This is called Plumage, and this is a, one of the newer MAC shades that I bought. But what I think we need now is sort of like that red 
and the yellow from the banner and I don't really have a lot of warm tones in my singles collection because I don't really like warm tones all that much so a lot of it is quite cool leaning but I do have a yellow by Colourpop that I'm going to select and it's another matte because I do, just don't have that much this is called Take Flight and I think that that will go with it quite nicely like I don't really have a red and I don't really have a gold but I do have this shade and this is Forge by Cleona and this is one of their jeweled multi-chromes it's square so again it's going to look really hideous but this is a red that pulls gold so I think I think that that can work best in order to get that red tone in there plus the gold this shade it's it's a bit more peachy than gold but it's probably the closest that I have and but it is light enough this is Colourpop's Ready Art Yacht and it's got like a really nice sort of like neutrally toned to it it's a bit more sheer as well so I think that can work quite nicely in an as an inner cor corner highlight and then maybe to add on to this I would need something perhaps a little bit more steely that's in between like a silver and a blue yeah this shade right here again a color pop shade this is heavenly by color pop um, so those would be the nine pans that I would select to represent the Ravenclaw insignias. All right, so that would be the swatch there, and then it's, it shows you that looks can be deceiving because that nocturnal shade by Cleona, it pulls very purple, so maybe I need something different. Hold on. So I think I'm gonna change it to Abyss by Sydney Grace because I think that's more like a black and blue, like deeper tone. Yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. Um, so there you have the swatches. Right, so let's do palette number two for you guys. And this is one of my favorite painters in the world, Vincent van Gogh. And I'm not going to be selecting one of his most famous works. I really like his almond blossom tree painting. I actually have a mug, a tea mug with this. And what I really like about this is like the color in the background is like this minty sort of blue turquoisey kind of shade and I love wearing turquoises on my eyes and yeah and then it has let me see look at this more carefully it's got some like green and brown from the branches of the tree and then you have all these little fine flowers with like a hint of pink so again I think we're gonna have to build a nine pan palette and already from the corner of my eye over here I can see a shade that will go so well with this and this is Aquarius by Luxie Beauty. Am I right? Yeah. So this is Aquarius by Luxie Beauty, and it's like that perfect minty, bluey, turquoisey kind of shade. And I also have a matte that can do just that very perfectly. If you saw my blue green palette, then you may know what I'm reaching for right now. And it's this one. This is New Heaven by Nabla and it's like the perfect sort of like turquoisey kind of matte and I don't know about you but I don't see a lot of brands do turquoisey mattes but I feel we're not there yet what we also need is going to be more of like that lighter minty shade and for that I want to reach into Inglot and pull out this shade matte eyeshadow 345 so I think again Ooh, that's already like that background is coming together but it seems to have something with a bit more brightness to it as well like a slightly brighter blue I'm going to pull in this Cleona shade in snowdrift and this looks blue in some lights but pink in some lights and since those flowers have a hint of pink to it I think that will go perfectly with it so that's why that has got to go in there I'm gonna have to go in with some of the shades from my blue green palette here I know I want to go quite dark so I'm gonna pull in this this is called Siren Call by Sydney Grace so yeah maybe this cocky shade here um, this is by Colourpop and this is Team Captain so I think that goes really nicely with it as well I'm now reaching for a Makeup Geek shadow and this is the shade Chickadee and I think that that can add the warmth that is needed to really make this a 
yeah, just to give it a bit more warmth, really. That I think this might work, because this is like a light shimmer. Um, this is by Inglot again, and this is Pearl 453. So I think that this could work well in terms of like the flower blossom type of thing. I think one more, huh? What else do we want to do? Something perhaps to make it a little bit more pink. Let's go Lethal Cosmetics. And this shade does have a bit of a purpley shift to it. Uh, this is called Enigma, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, this is called Enigma. I think that will go with it a lot better. What do you think? What do you think? What do we have here, huh? So we've got some of like the, the, the branches and we've got the background and then we've got like the flowers. I think that will work quite well. So let me swatch these for you. So as you can see, we've got sort of like that background with like the mints and like the nice sort of like that shimmer I love. That's Aquarius by Luxy. And then we have a little bit of like a shimmery row in the middle. And these like mats to deepen things up and tie it together. So that was palette number two. Let's make palette number three. And for that, we're gonna need a lot of color because one of my other pa favorite painters is Vasily Kadinsky, and he was known for his use of color and sort of like very uh, abstract kind of paintings towards especially the rest, like the end of his career. First, he started off as an impressionist, I believe. Um, and you can see this like purple along the edge, and then it's got like plum in the middle with like the red, and then there's different kinds of blues and those different kind of yellows. So I think I want to put all of that in and I can already see immediately like a shade that I think will represent that darker yellow quite well and that is Paper Tiger by Colourpop. Or a bit of bright yellow like I don't have like a proper bright yellow apart from flying what was it Take Flight by Colourpop but it's not bright enough to go in here so to add a bit of brightness I think I'll go in with this pastel yellow and this is Inglot's Matte 634. And the most red shade in this entire selection that I have here is, again, a Colourpop shade. I told you I have the most, like, colorful shades by Colourpop. And this is Hop On, which is more coral, actually. It's not a straight-up red. But again, I would not wear a straight-up red. So that's the closest I'll get. So I think for the pink, again, by Colourpop. I would have to pull in Sandbar because I really don't have any other pinks. Crown Jewel, like I think that will work quite nicely. And then we need some blues. And I think we already pulled a couple of blues from this, but we didn't blue pull this one yet, did we? We didn't yet. And this is Blue Magic by Color Rain, and I think that will be a perfect blue to go in there. So again, that Davina shade in Hydra needs to go in there. Um, and then we have those like true purples. There's gray in here though. Gray. I don't really have anything gray. I do have a taupe by Makeup Geek that I think can be a good stand-in shade. Um, this is Moon Dust. So that, that can be like our like grayish shade. Oh, I can go in with Inglot again. So for the peach, I can go in to this like matte coral. And this is called Matte 361, so I'll put that in there next to the Makeup Geek shade. But I think that this shade here, which I have by MAC, looks quite peachy on the eye, and this is Paradisco. That's an OG fave. So I think that can cover the peachiness, but I still need those purples. Oh my god, this is such a stunning shade. This is called Spirit. And it's truly that like really bright purple, and I'm now from the corner of my eye spotting Remy by Davina. And that can be like that softer purple that we see going around the edge, I think. So my Inglot palette is coming in handy this time. And then we'll put in this shade, and this is a Shimmer by Inglot. This is Pearl 429. So there you have that palette right there. Let me swatch it for you. 
So that would be my Kadinsky inspired palette, you guys. Uh, nice bit of bl a good blend of brands. I, I thought I would struggle with this one a lot more. Like, I definitely would need a brighter shade in between these yellows to make that work. But in terms of color story, I think this could actually work together because you have those warm tones and then those cool tones. So it's it's quite a nice split. Right, and I'm having a lot of fun with this. So we're gonna do one more and it's the famous Monet painting with the water lilies and the bridge, which is very green toned. And I, I think I have enough greens to try and make it work. Um, again, it, yeah, let's put in this one. I, I immediately spot a shade. I'm like, yeah, I want to put that in. This would be Humid by MAC. Yeah. Now that one from the top of my head. I think this shade from Lethal will go with it for like a matte. And this is called Habitat. This is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. But of course, we also want some shimmers in there. So I think that especially if you're doing like foliage, then... Levy by uh, Sydney Grace is really nice to use. Uh, this is Turtle Bay by Sydney Grace. So that's a stunning shade. But I also have some like greens here by Colourpop. Again, for like that foliage kind of look, I think I need to put this one in. Tea Garden, of course. That's like a stunning duochrome. I think it will go well with all of these greens. That's Conjure Up, which I believe I bought because it was described as a teal, but goes really well with this. This is called AMC Shine 32, and this is like a light green shimmery shade. Well, that, ooh, that fits in there. Good. Nice stuff. Good stuff. For the, like, the flowers, because they're not super stark white, so I think we can go in with Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer. I think that that will be a nice touch because it has like that almost like peachy beigey, beigey tone to it. This is going to be stunning as well. This is for the bridge. This is Charmed by Makeup Geek. That took no effort at all. Those are the shades I would want to put into a Monet Water Lily inspired kind of palette. So let me swatch this for you. In terms of color story, I think this is the most cohesive. This looks stunning together. This is definitely a palette I wear, you guys. So let me know what I should do next. Should I film looks with these palettes I just created? Should I not? Should I... Is that something you'd like me to do? Is that something you find interesting? I'm not sure. Um, but I had fun curating these little palettes with my singles. I definitely need to do this more often and then actually use it. So for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very random video of mine. Um, and if you think that it's worth a repeat, who knows? Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more by me. I will be back with a new video very soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye!